So this is what the garden looks like. And why? Chris. And Chris, thanks for your help, man. Really, you know, really appreciate that. Glad for the approach. Thank you. Yeah. So the night's table is going to have a little bit more, but the whole idea is to try to set an example, inspire, you know, other people. Maybe other members might say. We're always are, looking to start up that green team, so this yep. might be a good inspiration. Yep. For that. And there's a nice view from up here at Dwai. They do a lot of social good. And that's me saying thanks, YMCA. And thanks, Chris, and thanks, Debbie, and the entire team. the corner of John and May and South and there's Akachi Farms. Hey ladies. And Butchie. So I'm looking at two young helpers of Akachi Farms. What is your name? Naomi. Naomi. And what is your name? Joyce. Joyce. Hi. Are you related to Okay. So who's related to Yvonne? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And where's Doobie this morning? This morning? By last sleeping. She stood sleeping. All right. Wow. Okay. That will feed a lot of people. To be <laughs> just uh, Well, Keith, I appreciate your helping out with the garden. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm not going to tap it, okay? Was that you saying that with Dolores? You're supervising again, Dolores. I always do. <laughs> always do. <laughs>
Dolores, Dolores said the other day, how come I didn't get a pepper? I said, because you only supervise, you don't water. So I'm here at the Purple Kitchen, which is one of my favorite stops. And here are the products. And this is a popular stop for people visiting the market. Lots of repeat customers. And April, April Hudson is not here today, but her mom is. Donna Bailey, an MBA, and she is helping while April is out. How are you? Just imagine, you bump into some of the nicest people at the Brampton Farmers Market. How are you doing, Louis? How are you doing? Uh, I usually make movies every Saturday. Oh, really? Post them. I YouTube. didn't know that. No kidding. Yeah. No, I did not good. know that. Yeah, look me up. Um, And I always stop by at the Cashmere Farms. This time I bought two pounds of goat for someone at the um, at the Y. And of course that's Billy standing there. Some goat is being slow cooked here by Jeannie and Billy of Cashmere Farms and Carson is here to check and everything and I'm gonna come back and get some goat. I just bought some for a friend of mine over at the YMCA. Come here. So here are Delphine and Pauline yeah. again. I saw so them at the Pauline. farm. And that's Delphine from yeah. Paris, France. And welcome again to Brampton. It was nice seeing you on the farm last Monday. Good meat, one of the healthiest meats you can eat. You're a good, you're a good uh, sale person. Yeah. <laughs> Wish you got a commission then. That's why I'm gonna buy it. Aw, nice. Recommend it. Okay. There's Big Bad Carson. My favorite good farmer. Yeah, we're thinking of charging everyone, you know, 25 cents for caressing it. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Look at that, two hands. For yeah, I need it. For $50 I need... for the video. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? I should, Billy, I should charge you for the video. What about yourself? I need male hands too. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Both hands. Both hands. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. See, you just got in touch with your feminine self. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Two hands. 
So I'm here at the Purple Kitchen, which is one of my favorite stops. And here are the products. And this is a popular stop for people visiting the market. Lots of repeat customers. And April, April Hudson is not here today, but her mom is. Donna Bailey, an MBA, and she is helping while April is out. And her, that's her book, Chris. No problem. Hey, Louis. I'm doing well, Louis. And you? The saxophone is an ancient one that Louis brought in from Cuba. So I have the absolute pleasure of being here with Louis and his wonderful saxophone. Now we're going to have a coffee and a muffin. I came in from Saturday, you know? You know, Louis is just telling me of the extraordinary background that he has. Louis, you're telling me about how you play and how many pieces do you have in your mind? in your memory. So, I can tell you, I have in my memory, in my memory, more than 300 and 400 pieces. Wow. Uh, between the uh, concert, uh, standard jazz, or, you know, all the most difficult mm -hmm. stuff for music, right, for clarinet and mm -hmm. saxophone. So those are quite magical fingers you've got there. <laughs> so The so clarinet and and the, and the saxophone. So, no, no, no music can stop. And you should teach. I'm teaching, yeah. I think I don't know if I better. I am a better teacher or a better, better mm -hmm. saxophone player, yeah. or clarinet, you know. But, uh, something strange, you know. I try to start to play. I don't get tired. Never get tired. I can play 10, 12 hours. This hour stop. Hmm. This hour stop. Trust me, no one over the world can do it. No one all over the world can play 12, 13 hours with our stuff. Ah. And you left Cuba in 2007? 2007. And you went? I came to Halifax with at, my student. At, uh, was it uh, which university? At Acadia University. Acadia University. For a program. Consumer music program. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I came to Canada with, with 11 musicians, students, mm -hmm. uh, in 
the big band, like the big band, you know? Yep. Was, was very nice. But all of them went back to Cuba, you know, they was younger than me, where they mm -hmm. were my students. Yep. You no know, trumpet, saxophone, piano, bass, tumba, all the percussion, percussion instruments. Mm -hmm. So um, a beautiful singer mm -hmm. I brought to Cuba. Well, you're fascinating, Gloria. I am at the um, Rose Theatre Square. It's um, not as busy as usual. It's nine, just after nine. Uh, when it warms up, I guess there will be more Brantonians back, and I will be here. Hmm. There are all these chess experts again. Uh. Well, lots more flowers this week than last week. And it's warming up. I'm looking at I'm looking at Little Rock Honey. I wonder. Sorry. That's right. Hi, Wonder. <laughs> Hmm. And who am I meeting? Okay. Smile. John wants to talk to you, right, John? If she does, if she doesn't talk to you, you're going to talk to her. Of course. And in the background, I can hear Louis. Mm -hmm. 
and his beautiful saxophone. What a talented man. So this is the magic of mushrooms. Where's your sign? This is the magic of mushrooms. And Janet Watson sells very exotic as well as ordinary mushrooms. And that's Amanda Watson. They've got some kind of magical ingredient, I guess. Maybe good mushrooms. Genesis, they're unique mushrooms.